Hello, welcome to Big Brother. My name's Mike Goldman, and in half an hour, Friday Night Live goes Caribbean, steel drums, limbo dancing, giant pineapples. It's going to go off tonight on Friday Night Live, but right now, The Daily Show. See you at 7.30. Previously in the Big Brother house, Danielle got herself into a very pointy love triangle. I'm so sorry. No, you shouldn't feel sorry. I am. The house played spin the bottle. And Katie and Jamie's relationship started to spin out of control. You get with Jamie and I'll get with John. That's lame. That's this is got... Katie being self-destructive in the next... Oh, my God! Tonight on Big Brother, one relationship falters. Self-destructive are two words that I never used last night. They may be separating subject to inconsolable differences. One relationship blossoms. One pretty girl will never have what you have in here and will never be you. Camilla, that's nice. And Rob sorts the men from the boys. <laughs> <laughs> Am I squashing you yet? No. I'm done. That is so funny. You so can't nice. do anything. Oh my god. It's okay. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, all right. Last night, Danielle told John she has feelings for him, but they both decided not to do anything about it whilst she has something going on with Dino. Good Danny and Dino. <laughs> 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 Jamie and Katie also had issues last night and they haven't spoken since. Have I done something? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know, I'm not going to really comment on the situation. Man. But oh. Rather than be silent about it, you should talk to me. I don't think I've done anything wrong. No. So why should I go after him? I didn't say you should. I just said if you have a problem, then you should sort it out. If she doesn't come and tell me that something's wrong, then how am I supposed to deal with her today? I knew that it was an issue that she had with me, and I expected her to raise it with me this morning, but she hasn't. Tell you what, I'm what? getting over him pretty quick right now. No, I don't be like that. I am, he's just been... Come on, this is... <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> I almost feel like I've got two options. I wait, and if it's a big enough deal, she'll tell me about it. If it's not, it'll fizzle out. Or I swallow my pride and I talk to her. Uh, I've got to approach him when I'm cool. Okay. I'm not it it bugs me that he hasn't come up to me, and that's why I'm not cool. I don't want to be running after her in this occasion. No, I don't want to be going and patching up things that I don't think are serious enough to warrant any sort of um, dispute. So at the moment, uh, no matter how unhappy it makes me, I'm leaning towards her coming to me and me waiting. Do you reckon I'll hit John from here? Unless you throw it really hard, really flat, otherwise you'll hit the roof. <laughs> I was just seeing if I'd get in that direction. I wasn't going to hit anyone. Let's go, come close. It was her, by the way, not me. It yeah, was me. Oh. <laughs> Spot, on. Spot on. That was the best throw. <laughs> oh, John. What? I have your thing on. Ah. <laughs> If she confessed to John last night. Oh, she likes him. So what about Dina? Dina doesn't know that she's spoken to John, so we all know that she told John last night. She needs to address it with him. Yeah. As, as if Dina's not getting a hint of what's going on. Why do you think he's into her so much more since the weekend? Really? It's, 
silly. She's young. I've tried to talk to her, but I don't want to get involved. From a girl's point of view, it won't look good. But Dana, Dana, he's not. He's not sure. No. He's on. What? What's that look? <laughs> Coming up, Jamie and Katie can't see eye to eye. You said something like socially destructive or whatever. I said that game was socially destructive. To evict Crystal, SMS Crystal to 199 evict. To save Crystal, SMS Crystal to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555562 and follow the prompts. To evict Camilla, SMS Camilla to 199 evict. To save Camilla, SMS Camilla to 199 to save. Or call 1902 555563 and follow the prompts. Do you still want to continue what you guys have in here? Yeah. Doesn't she? Jamie and Katie still aren't speaking, so Jamie speaks to Danielle about the situation. In fact, I don't know if she does. But today's been the first day that I really haven't enjoyed myself. Mm. And I've wanted to go home. So I think it's best to sort it out. While Katie boxes away the day's frustrations, Rob fills Big Brother in on the house gossip. We have Jamie and Katie who have got married and all the rest of it and are having marital difficulties. So I'm thinking if it doesn't pull together in the next day or two that they may be separating subject to inconsolable differences. Now Crystal and Crystal and Galen have, I think they're quite official now that they're together. So they're going on and going quite strong. The new, new development with intruder Danielle being in the house, from what I've heard through the grapevine, being the hairdresser that I am, is that Danielle has um, expressed interest in John, which serves a bit of a problem considering that she's kind of with Dino at the moment. Quite nice to sit back and have a bit of a chuckle at the, um, the, um, the Love Olympics, we'll call it, the Love Olympics within the Big Brother house. So, yes. So stay tuned. I'll get back to you as soon as I can with more information. Are you talking to him now? <laughs> Is this Jamie? Yes. Just, <laughs> What's wrong? Just drink the water. I don't get you. <clears throat> I'll explain. After not speaking all day over their fight during a game of spin the bottle, Jamie finally breaks the ice with Katie. Thanks. Um. I was under the impression something pissed you off last night. Oh, because oh. the only problem I have is that if there's something wrong, okay. you've got to come and tell me because otherwise I'm going to stress out and then this is going to happen. So I was waiting today for you to come and talk to me. And you didn't. That's what I was waiting for. And I thought, well, I'm going to have to go and do it myself. I would have come to talk to you. You said something like in front of me, like socially destructive or whatever like you know, what do you mean he said i'll oh, get with john i was like you get with claire i, I claire. said that game was socially destructive i said this is stupid this whole game is socially is like potentially dangerous because there are lots of people with me? i didn't say that you were i said that there's no reason why we should play that game because it's likely that we'll upset people and that's why i didn't play that game i never said you were well, Camilla heard it and she what? piped up and I got embarrassed. No, I said, I'm not playing this. This is like, I, I didn't use those words. I said, it's potentially destructive. Meaning that people will get upset. And I said it about five times about the game, not about you. As I say, being accused of something I didn't do is one of the my pet hates. I'm really upset by it, and I know that I didn't do that. You're not helping, you're not being very nice. Oh, I'm just annoyed. I know you're annoyed. But I don't think you should be like this to me. I've just gone a whole day of like, I missed out on last night because I went to sleep because so I wanted to let you calm down, and I've gone a whole day of like anguish because you... Don't say that. Because you didn't I've have had to a 